as the groups of urban farmers get organized and help each other, they can start to see what's working for whom, where, and how can they take that up. Just look at the look at Uber. You know, I mean, we talked about the idea of on-demand vehicles for years and years and years, and it takes a confluence of technologies all coming together, smartphones everywhere. Well, Uber wouldn't exist unless everybody has smartphones, right? So there takes a point when that penetration is achieved, which it obviously has, certainly in cities. Well, it'll be the same thing with the urban farming. I wouldn't be surprised in 10 years if we don't have urban farming apps for all the urban farmers that help them optimize also to market, because I could easily imagine the Uber of food, which would be I need fresh food for my family and I don't feel like getting in my car to go buy it. You know, and have it delivered. It might be delivered by drones, by Amazon, for all you know. Who knows what's going to happen? You no, know, you might have local food pickups that are airborne, you know, and brought to you like fresh in seconds. I mean, who knows? It's like the world will surprise us.